What is happening, ladies and gents? Let me here back playing some more. Get even. And we're attempting to get through this place without murdering everybody with our sick gun that they gave us. Bunch of jerks. Oh, there's the coolest thing in the game. Don't use it. But I want to so bad. Fuck, I swear something's moving back there. Yep. He has made a mistake. Hey, you're in the army, right? Yep. Mind if I ask you a question? Shoot. Did you, um... Did you ever kill a guy? Yeah, I did. What was it like? Fucking horrible. Why did you sign up here, man? It's... It's all I know. Heavy. I swear I saw somebody. <laughs> yep. Nobody saw anything. If they come find me in here, they're gonna come find me. God damn it. Better just keep on trucking. Oh, what do we got here? We've got uh Jared Porter. Rap sheet. Ben called me saying we're all effed. Pigs got Jared. It's only a matter of time before they get the rest of us. Jared came to me and came on me and said nothing about being arrested, acting like nothing happened. When I told him what Ben told me, he said Ben was just tripping. No pigs were onto him. He just went to London for the day. I'm freaking positive. A, B positive. That something's off. And maybe H, I, B positive. I don't know. And if pigs have Jared on their leash, we can't trust him anymore. That's true. <laughs> Definitely take pics. Hey, hear me out, please. Just, just hear me out. What do you want? You hit for Jasper, yeah? They've got him back there. And why are you here? They locked me up because I was helping him out, but I only did it out of fear, I swear. I've seen him kill people just for disagreeing with him. Please, please, if you leave me here, they'll kill me. Yeah. But what am I supposed to do about it, really? <laughs> Well, see you later. Thank you. I owe you my life. I'm keeping him just around the corner. Good luck. And he gets blasted. Turns the corner. <laughs> Thank you. I got out. Hope Jasper is fine. Probably dead. Jasper's been working under the radar for almost a decade. Was in the army in the 90s, where he first made contact with people who now provide him work as a mercenary. Got discharged and discharged on. Likes his recreational narcotics pot, scat, and ecstasy. Makes some money selling it all on the side. Tends to deal in small amounts to keep a low profile. Unpredictable and erratic and erotic. But the best merc I know. It's also into butt stuff. Right. Okay. Seems a little weird. Am I supposed to just like... 
Do nothing? Cool. Open the box. Oh, this is where I murdered all the dudes. Jasper, he knows, and he's coming for you. Uh, meet me back at the mansion. I'm on my way, Rose Atkins. Still no memory of Jasper. Found his phone, though. Uh-oh. I just threw up in my mind. He brought me out, Red. There's no pain. I... I can think this time. Red, did you see that? We've got a name and a place. Rose and a mansion. Red. Red? Are you there? Red! They need to give him the memory stick and cash in. Thought you'd be happy it's almost over. Well, back in the crazy house. Red, hey, were you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this... Jasper business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear my, my technology. Do not fucking trust me! Oh. Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Then what do I do? Red, I said what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? I missed that one freaking note somewhere in here. Where it was. That goes back to Memory Palace. I could have a quick little session on that mattress, It'd be nice. Ah, uh, Spreader was there. I was trying to get to him. It was too late, but I found out that he was working with Rose Atkins. Art therapy sessions. Art therapy sessions every Monday and Friday. I think we know that already. But what don't we know? Checking with the black light. Anything? Nothing? Just need one more note. Uh, maybe we didn't read that one? Your memory is very reluctant towards my dear bringing art therapy, psychotherapy to the Lithurst. And it finally seems to be satisfied with the results, which only surprised the progress. Patient 219 made in the last two weeks. He always feels guilty about the things he did, but he wouldn't go into details, and now he's writing about it. He's trying to communicate his feelings for the very first time since he's got here and making progress. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. What? There's a man. Or is that the, uh, party guy? I gotta check all these just in case they're the ones I missed. Uh, Deceive the Prince of Lies, Donkey Kong. I'm pretty sure we read that one. God, that music is so good. Why did you do that? What? Well, why did you paint your prosthetic leg black? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, and I was hoping you're cured. I am cured. Your leg was sick. Remember, that's why I had to cut it off. 
I know you loved it, but sometimes we have to let go of the things we love the most. Hmm? How's the other leg? She's fine. Bit sad, maybe. Her sister was amputated. They were twins. Mm, I see. So maybe they should be together. Yeah, all right. I'll think about it. <laughs> Cut your other leg off. No! Maybe that's the one I was missing. It was thin. He left us. Abandoned us. The puppet master left us. Yeah. Spookjuki. Most of the inmates I've met talk a great deal about the war. We all have flashbacks of things we've seen, things we've done. When I first woke up in my cell, I thought it must be some kind of military experiment making soldiers face their traumas. So the Pope Master is our commander in chief? Or are we all captives of our greatest enemy? Also, why is there just semen covering my walls? Ah! Disgusting. I mean, what else do you do with the black light? Oh. Literally nothing. Very, very exactly. One left to spread the word of Caesar. Always the way. He will come and see a conquer again. My liege, you are here. Yep. I knew you would come. Ever since that day at ADS, you let me live, remember? And now I know why. Pass me that crowbar. Let me out, my Caesar. He is a broken man because of you. This job was his way out, our way out. We were going to break free and live our lives, but you destroyed it all. What did we do to deserve this? Rufus. Um, as you already know, you've been diagnosed with clinical depression. Who is this? Mr. Boyce. A tragic event at ADS clearly took its toll on you, but I think I know how we can get you the help we need. My good friend, Dr. Amanda Barnes. Organizes art therapy sessions for patients coping with emotional and psychological trauma. So I suggest, strongly suggest, contacting her as soon as possible. If I destroyed his life, he probably wants to murder me. Red's done a number on you, too. Here, take this. Go. Praise you, my Caesar. This world is yours. It always was. Oh, he crawled through the floor. Should I be able to see him? Oh, he disappeared. All right. I really like the atmosphere in this game. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I really like it. And the musical notes are just so good. Ah. Yep. Puppet Master loves both art and artists, but his art is bigger than life. All the people, their plans and dreams, hang out. Hang as if by strings over darkness. He chooses who will be saved and who will fall. Deke. What is that? Is that a clip of ammo? What the? Are you trying to tell me something, game? My bad. I didn't want to. Could have been friends. You were alive, good sir. Had to make sure. Nothing personal. A little bit personal. Oh. Really? Well, now we're outside. Checking the trash. Oh my god, there was something in the trash can.
That's not creepy. Oh, it's a mannequin. Are you a friendly mannequin? Probably not. There are mannequins everywhere. John, his best friend that I have to kill. I'm not going to show up with heat signatures. I see a boy. Or something. I'm going to be sneaky. for where is Rachel who is the puppet master <laughs> I had to Mr. Black. I did. I'm surprised you didn't try to jump the wall and escape. No way. I want to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. If that were true, that would surprise me. So, I used to make clothes out of human skin. White albino coats with shiny teeth buttons. Black shirts from the finest African material. Tendon belts covered with soft tissue taken from newborn bodies. And yes... Even fat, insulated pants. This patient's delusions were extremely complex, but they were just delusions. Sometimes he seemed completely sane. Therapy and proper medication would do miracles for him, I thought. Then, one day, he disappeared. Maybe he got out, I asked nervously, standing in front of the men's room. Impossible. The only person I've seen was a redhead. Looked nothing like him. <laughs> Behind the door, we found only an empty shell of what was once my patient. A suit so perfect, it would have fooled anyone. And on its side, a half meter long zipper. <laughs> oh, that's gross and awesome. Grossom. Um, Black, Ramsey, Grace, Jasper, and Rose. What? And the whole place goes boom. Take a picture of something. Nope, this way. Uh oh. Just making sure I didn't miss a note anywhere. Probably did. There's, there's a man over there. No. Yeah. What? It's green until I press the button and then it lost a chunk. DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 219. Great. It's right there, right? No, he's in the other room. Okay. I 
Dude, his paintings are really good. DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 219. So, use that for Darkest Dungeon, you know? The Crimson Campaign. He just. That would be sick. Is he in this room? He, he looks. He's locked up. Oh, you again. Ah, Pickle Black. In from the garden. Oh, are you enjoying the patch round? Shall I let you in? Look for the gas tank. Yes, yes, yes. I, I would. Only someone's turned off all the water. <laughs> There's only some of that little gas can turn it back on. Do I look like a fucking plumber? Open the door. Yes, that's what we need. You can do it. I open the door. The button's right here. I. I oh, he must have tea. Can I have some tea, please? Okay, fine. No, I didn't get to check that other room. You dick butt. You dick butt. Where the pipes lead, nobody knows. Give them a twist, and the water explodes. One down, but how many more? Quickly now, quickly, and I'll open the door. Balls. I didn't get to go in that other room. That makes me... angry. Also, there's something to take a picture of. Where... Couldn't tell what the thing was. Urine. No matches in biometric database. Great. His brain is damaged, but there's still a good chance of pulling this off. The temporal lobe is entirely unimpaired. He should survive the renew the review phase at least, so I'm hopeful of finding out exactly how much he knew about what happened to Grace. Okay. Cool. The new prototype is ten times better than the previous one, but there's still a lot of work to be done before it functions efficiently. The participant is my experiment G. My experiment G. Hmm. Was astonished with the results at first, but after spending 15 minutes in the virtual memory, he started showing symptoms of cyber sickness. He was disoriented and horrified, and 20 minutes into the experiment, he started uncontrollably vomiting, so I had to report the whole thing. At least he survived. I'm exhausted, but no time for rest. Too close to... Too close to stop working now. You bastard. DNA found. One matching profile. Lenore Ramsey. Oh. This world is such an abode. This world is such an abode that it... That if those present here... This world is such an abode that if those present here... I don't... Have their wits entire, they will never weep for the absent ones. That first sentence just sounds... Wrong. Uh, copy of entry of birth... Uh, 1993, birth of a subject district of Smothrick. Her name Grace, girl. Name the surname of the father, Robert Ramsey. Name the surname maiden, surname Lenor Ramsey. Formerly Thomas. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Okay. So the guy who had, had me steal the proto gun, prototype gun. That was his dot hair. I need to fix this. I will not accept what happened to my daughter. Nor will I live with a wife who holds me responsible. I will find whoever did this. So Lenore will see the truth. So she will forgive I me. Copy on myself. And so things can go back to the way they were before all this. Surprised there wasn't a puppet behind me when I turned back. Okay. I turned that off. I see. Go downstairs. Was this an open door? No? Open that door for me again, you son of a bitch. Hello, Rob. Is everything okay? You're not picking up the phone. We're all worried sick. Your team's amazing. Got another working day and day. We clearly need your guidance in order to have this device ready to hit the market and become the success it deserves to be. We need to minimize the symptoms of the VR sickness testers are getting fixes and major bugs prior to release. Please communicate with us, blah! That music is horrible, that one. Not good. Go black on the scene. When it happened, why was he there? Desperate Prado murdered, hours before the explosion. How was he involved? Jared Porter questioned by the police of Prado's case. Roger Howard surely wouldn't stoop so low. We'll need hard evidence before moving against him. This guy's obsessed with his party, man. He's investigating Grace Ramsey's kidnapping. Claims he tried to solve the thing on his own, but failed, or perhaps he wanted to fail. History of addiction and prescribed opiates would often lose grip on reality. Shut the hell up! Claims he has no memory of investigating Jasper Prado or Rose Adkins. Can't recall that he knew the people directly involved in the kidnapping. To what extent should he be trusted? I don't know. I can't even trust my own mind right now. Because of how loud that music is. Holy smokes. I should have shot that man. Maybe. Oh, we're back in this world. Oh, it's home sweet home. Take off my shoes, I guess. This is a weird James blur to it, man. In the last three hours, she will not stop. Please, can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Oh, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down. Ah, uh, baby. God damn it! Turn the light off. Every light in the whole place. Thirteen children and a teacher died in an accident. The teacher died in a horrible accident on the M40 motorway near Warwick. It was just after midnight on the 18th of November. 
when a minibus crashed into a maintenance vehicle. Eleanor Gray, 35, was the teacher driving the bus transporting 15 children home to Worcester from a school trip to London. She fell asleep at the wheel before the minibus struck. Yikes. And it later exploded. Hmm. Oh god, the choices. Click. <laughs> can you bring me her bottle, love? I think it's in the kitchen. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. Oh, bitch. What a bitch. It's a party. To have a party. I want a piece of the cake. Give me a piece of the cake. Congratulations, Rob. It seemed like only yesterday. We were making up excuses not to finish our science degrees and go to India instead. And look at you now. A serious scientist, a husband, and a father. Give Lenora a big hug for me. All the best to you two and Grace. As you know, I'm not really experienced in buying stuff for children, but I hope this angry-looking bear won't be too terrifying for her. Take care, James. That's an angry looking bear? I think that guy has some issues. Anyone who says they slept like a baby clearly never had one. That's true. God damn it. Turn these lights off. Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted... What? It's me. Your son. Uh, calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? <sighs> right. Um, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering... Okay. Oh, look, she's trying to talk to you. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. What on earth is she doing? Apparently leaving every light on in the whole place. Let me turn it off. Oh, my nightmare. There we go. Oh, man, that was close. What? There's still light, even though I turned it off? No. What? There. It's got a TV. Nah, I'll wait for the clock to go around again. <laughs> Shit. Somebody needs a change of diaper. So the doctor said that mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? No, no. Not the dementia. Oh, what I wouldn't give for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. Should have thought of that before, you know. Before you had a baby banged. Can I? Oh, okay. Yeah! 
Sweet TV time. No DVDs. She wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next, she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that at least. Aww. Mom, why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. And he's concerned about boys going after his daughter. Ah! All right, time for some sweet porn. Rose Atkins. I really don't see why you hired this one. She doesn't ever seem to know where you are. She won't put you on the phone. She's a good assistant, Lenore. Huge potential. She's got Give huge time. potentials. I'm sure you warned her. Just keep an eye on her, will you? I don't trust her. Come on, Jarvis. Said you promised to help with her science homework. Oh shit! I'm, I'm just. C can you help her tonight? You mind? Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? Finally, some dinner. Nope. No dinner. When's Dad coming home? God knows, my love. Maybe we should ask Rose Atkins when he'll be home. Oh. Maybe she'll even set up an appointment for us. You don't like her. I don't trust her. You don't trust her? Or you don't trust Dad? Hmm? Hmm. Robert, listen. I don't care. You have Grace, and because of that, you have Lenore. But you also have me. And I'm not going anywhere. Mm hmm It won't be long before Very Grace short is old skirt. enough to leave home. Until then, there's you and me and the work. For now, that's all that matters. I love you. Temptress. Those memories, they're yours. Who those memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. <laughs> they do not contain the answers we're looking for. Trust me. I think they do. Now is not the time to start thinking, Black. Oh. Nobody cares about whatever theories you may have dreamed up in that little brain of yours. Now is the time to do as I say. Psh. Now is the time to proceed. Fuck you. Exactly. Huh. Time to make sense of this right. mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should it? The Pandora will let us gotcha. know the way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. All right. Just making sure I grabbed all the shinies. <sighs> Eric, is that you? My head is killing me. I was out with Rose. I tell you, that girl is one fucking surprise after another. Who would have thunk a girl like that would know how to party? She's pretty messed up, though, man. You know all that stuff we were joking about before? Yeah. Yeah, that. I'm serious. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
about the kidnapping of the girl, I would imagine. Uh, tomorrow's the day. We're just tying up loose ends now. We spoke about maybe having to cut our colleague out of the picture. If you get my meaning. Hope you're fine with that. We'll get the job done regardless. Jay. Uh, recurrent re-satellite photo of the house. Uh, uh someone's singing to be extremely cautious. Wait, so be extremely cautious. I'm going to track this guy down, but for now, we have to keep our eyes open. We don't need any unnecessary attention. Pig's tails. Do you like the new safe house? Cozy little place, isn't it? Perfect for the task. I'm sure our mutual friend would approve. Anyway, make yourself at home, begin your preparations. If you need anything, you let me know personally and I will take care of it. You have three weeks and no excuses. Don't disappoint me. Uh... What was Jester Prado doing in the building just a couple of days before Grace's kidnapping? Why did someone report a group of armed mercenaries using a nearby area for target practice? Was it some kind of hideout? Was it some kind of hide-in? Where the fuck are you, Jasper? Eric just called and says he hasn't heard from you since yesterday. If I find out you're on another bender Dead. the day before the job, so help me, God. Do you have any idea how important tomorrow is? I need you on your A-game, Jasper. So if Eric tells me they found you sucking on a hash pipe again, that's not the only I thing he was sucking on. Balls off with a pair of rusty fucking hedge clippers. Who? Call me. I'm ready to go. Profondo Rosso. <laughs> Try not to f this up. What do you take before? A uh, nihilistic psycho who wants to show off. Uh, are you for real? You put a f are you for? Come on now. I'm a pro. Me and my boys. I've been in a freaking war. Do this quick and clean. Just tell your boys this time nobody gets killed or even wounded. Well, that didn't happen. Uh, so you want X amount of money for exactly the same big freaking gun wall mic that you had listed at this price last month. F you, pal. I'll give you 250 including delivery deal. Spy stuff. For all. All right. How deeply intriguing, Mr. Black. It seems you do have some memory of this place. Which means what? Exactly. I wouldn't want to speculate at this point. I'm sure the implications will become clear. So, what am I looking for here? Rose? Jasper? Perhaps even both? Let's just see what we can find out, shall we? What's some, what's some goddamn answers? Something in here to take a picture of? It, it, it. Identified Rose Atkins and Jasper Prado. I knew they'd be sending their inside man, but I never knew he was gorgeous. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm Jasper, and I'm very pleased to meet you. You can cut the flattery, Mr. Prado. I know who you are. Our employer has filled me in. Filled you in. <laughs> <don't> <laughs> you bastard. I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> You're a professional. I suppose you want to see the setup. Cross the eyes, start the teeth. All that shot. Yes, Mr. Brando. Please, show me around. Hmm? Hmm. Their first meeting. That's a start. Get as much information as you can, Mr. Black. Be meticulous. Understood. Oh, my God. Damn, Mr. Bun Buns. What are you even doing here? You don't know the code for this, Mr. Black. Meh. 
Stop wasting your time, Black, and move Damn on. Damn it, but I want the cool stuff, the guns. Give me the guns. Someone tried to access my data again. Are you going to deal with that or not? Answer my calls or there'll be consequences. Robert. guys so I can take pictures something to take a picture of somewhere guys it What the f- Damn it. Alright, let's try to figure out where the picture is. Yep, yep. It's over there somewhere. He doesn't want me to kill him. He wants me to kill him. Don't kill anybody. Stop killing. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> oh, no. I gotta take a picture of this again. Damn it. He's checkpoint me after these talky moments. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins and Jasper Prado. Ah! Uh. I knew they'd be sending their inside man. We never knew he was. Oh, Lord! <sighs> How you doing, sweetheart? I'm Jasper, and I'm very pleased to meet you. You can cut the flattery, Mr. Prado. I know who you are. Ah! <sighs> filled me in, here. dick joke. I get it. I like him. I'm sorry. No. Nothing. I get it. You're a professional fighter. I, I suppose you want to see the center. Cross the eye, not the teeth. All that shit. Yes, Mr. Prado. Please, show me round. Their I'm first just, meeting. Gonna have to just kill them all. Start. Get as much information as you can, Mr. Black. Be meticulous. Understood. single one of them. Is he talking to somebody? He is not. This might be too far away though. It's real close. Stop shooting, Mr. Black. Black. Ramsey's house. Uh, Grace's room. We enter here in the same way. We go out. Hmm. plans. Alright, where is it? Over there. Fingerprints identified. 
Jasper Prado. Alcohol, Mr. Prado. I thought you said you were a professional. Oh, hey, now, Missy. Professional alcoholic. Me. The boss man has sent some of his own men. It's back on it. It's for those boys. A happy team is a productive one. No? And a drunk team is a dead one. Robert won't take this line down. Not like I did. Resources <laughs> of your own. You'll need to be alert. Okay, okay, I get it. It's off the menu, right? Unlike that ass. Really? Where the hell? I see. Is he gonna come back? Really just looking out the window for 45 minutes. As soon as I start to walk down there, he's gonna move. <laughs> I'm taking a piss and playing with it. Okay, nothing down there. Told me to be thorough, so I'm gonna thoroughly clear this place of dudes. <laughs> Kill them all. I'm this close to just pressing send and letting all the world know about your odd jobs. Enough to put you away for most of your life. Don't push me. Robert. It's not the friendliest guy, you know. I'm terrified with this group's ineptitude. It's time to get this thing done. I'm sick and tired of pretending that Ramsey actually matters to me anymore. Rose, we need to... We need some time to get the whole family under surveillance. But it's done now, so calm the F down. Steven. Our office. And that goes back to my mind palace, I would imagine. No! Don't you dare send me home. There's so many ways to explore. I, you better not send me home or lock a door behind me or anything weird. Interesting. Your current location matches coordinates from which FDG servers were remotely accessed. There should be an open terminal nearby. This could give you the information we're looking for. Partial security ID. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins. Okay. So we contact Randall. We say, give us the memory gizmo or your girl gets it. That's it. That's it. What if he says no? He won't. You said he don't much care for his family. What if he just... He won't. Cool. Uh, turn off the CCTV at any moment. Yep, can kill Jasper for breaking my access card with pleasure. Right. Shit. I'm still missing some data. No. Not some data. Goddamn cool data. Neutralize. Well, the less I know about that, the better, I suppose. As long as it doesn't change anything. I'd better be able to trust you, Atkins. That would seem to be the case, yes. Keep me updated. And let me know the second she arrives at the safe house.
Still need more data. Possibly from in here. Uh, first car arrives. Nine sharp. Second car arrives. Driver waits three. Armed guys enter the building. Pick up the package. Put it in the back seat. Guys in the second car get approximately six to eight minutes. Pick up the package and get the F out of there. I'm deadly serious. You'd be fast and furious. But also quite as F. Crew in the first car is going to get everything fixed up. The second car arrives. Turning off the CCTV in the whole area. I see. Okay. You have a fatal virus. You have committed a fatal error. You're like a fucking razor. That doesn't even make sense. Fuck you. <laughs> Why is this so important to you anyway? I'm invested. That's all. Ah, you've been promised something. That's none of your business. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, cutting off his hands. Uh, his right hand and his left hand. Uh, schedule meeting with Ramsey. They take the data from him. The Ramsey underground. After the exchange, the Ramsey did goodbye, girl. In the back car, blah, blah, blah. Clean the place up. Okay. All their planning. Okay, that's a man. to kill you because I needed to be able to look at stuff. Fingerprint found. One matching profile. Thomas Hill. Okay. Not going to put up a uh, pixel dudes. <laughs> I guess you don't know how to use it. So I guess you lose it. I think that's how that works. So I just set it on the third slot for everyone. Try not to change anything, don't mess with the frequency, because if you F it up and start transmitting on um, 406 megahertz, we're all screwed! Lenore Ramsey. It's uh, her typical day, okay, slobbing around. Robert's typical day, texting and chatting with Rose. Telling his wife it's work. <laughs> School. What did he say? In watching the telly. I see. More soda pop from Jasper. Booze from Jasper. Fingerprints identified. Jasper Prado. No, no, listen, just hear me out. Our employer has given me very specific orders not to let you near any explosives. Oh, oh boy, I love explosives. Trust me, I know my way around the fucking bomb. Not what I heard, Mr. Prado. Oh, fuck you, fuck the lot of you. Hmm. Hmm. Got a lot of work today. Big ten. Blah blah blah. Sure, do what you want. Don't be like that. Not being like anything. Do what you want. You know how important this work is, don't you? Dinner's in the fridge. What the f? Her name's Lenore. Fancy old tart, ain't she? Who the f is called Lenore? Um. To go upstairs, probably.
grace, I think. <laughs> I might be wrong. Been a while since we had weird black light text. Upstairs. There might be dudes. There are dudes. I opened a hole. And then he was gone. Dude, you're not my mom. Or are you? I mean, how was I supposed to look at this book? The Memory Doctor. Oh. We should, we should take some target practice from behind the couches. Oh, or read this. At times like this, I feel that my whole life has been nothing but a fraud. And that I'm all... Wait. And that's all I'm good at. Creating a certain impression of me and other people. I can't be myself around anyone. I'm like... Constantly photoshopping myself. Especially around men. Ooh. When I met Jay, I wanted him to see me as a sexy rebel who loves breaking the rules. When I wanted to impress Robert, suddenly I became this calm, patient, warm, and elegant girl. It was only dreams of getting a glimpse of his brilliance. Now I'm changing again. My financial troubles hanging over me like a stormy cloud. I'm on a downward spiral. Each day I wake up and I blow hobos on the street randomly and repeat the same mantra. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the coldest of them all? Rose. Look at all these notes I would have missed. Rose scares the living shit out of me sometimes. Last week, after a few drinks, she said she always wanted to kill her father, but never had the chance. He died in a car crash when she was young, apparently. I asked if he hit her or something, or anything. She said it was none of my freaking business, and that she freaking went for me. Wait, what? And then she freaking went for me. Caught me off guard, knocked me down, and started choking me and shit on my chest. I didn't slap her a few times. I reckon she would have killed me on the spot. Wow. She seems like a nice girl. You bring home to your parents. Glad that I... Oh, I'm glad that I... Scare the shit out of you, Jasper. But if you ever write anything personal about me... To anyone ever again, I'll shove a red-hot poker directly up your arsehole. And stay off my computer. Oh, I'll go back to that computer someday. Oh, straight boy. Super straight boy! It's the best jerk-off material they got in this place. Saga. Do I even care about more ammo? Ah, uh, Rose property still waiting for someone brave enough to deliver it to her. There's no way I could have stood here and taken this picture with those guys alive, right? Seems crazy. We pick the best man for the job, in and out, so we know that it's done. Then once we've got her, we just sit tight until the payment arrives. I'm not so sure if it will be that simple. He's paranoid that if multiple alarm systems, CCTV... Listen, darling, it's a kidnapping, not rocket surgery. To be honest, I've lost count of how many snatches I've done. 
All you need to worry your pretty little head about is that the info you've given us is legit. You get me? I assure you my info is legit, Mr. Prado. It's what you're going to do with it that worries me. Yeah. Look at all these just iPads that are whatever is that they left around. I could be rich. Oh. Detective Marvin Hart speaking. Jared. Is that you? Have you got something for me? Right, because oh. he was their CI? Oh. 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 All right. Well, I guess I'll have a slice of pizza. I think they were here for a while. They got a lot of pizza and Chinese food. Oh, my God. That one has bullets in it. Send it back, get a refund. Also, why is there blood on the table? Or is it pizza sauce? Uh. Oh. Oh, I could have made that appear and then hid behind. I see. But I didn't. I killed all the men. Alrighty. Um, feel pre pretty good about how much I scouted. Is there any more bed documents that I didn't read? Did we go down there? That's where we need to go. So we did go this way, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Yep, okay. Okay, let's try this out. Password is murder my father. Ah, the ID works. I'm a teenage girl. Why? I don't want to think about boys. The shimmering instead of the shining. This is where I sneak out at night. What's up, bitch? Where the short story sent me on Wednesday, Zombie Teachers versus Vampire Kids. Funny shit, Grace. I'm your number one fan. Now we can go get drunk and have another movie marathon day someday? What? And who was the person talking? Hannah. I do not have my flashlight to see how much semen there is in this room. Probably a lot. Can hypnosis be dur useful during interrogations? More than 50 years, hypnosis was a subject of much fascination research for the CIA. Blah, 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 blah. Later experience proved these techniques to be highly unreliable. Yeah, so just give them all LSD. And then cut off their limbs. Hey, Hannah, it's Grace. Uh, I'm only home for another few days now, so let's arrange something soon. Oh, and uh, make sure you check out that link I sent you. You'll love it. Anyway, um, call Dick me pick. back. Don't Bye. do it. It's a dick pic. I swear, she sent you one. Oh my god. Turn these lights off, Jesus. What is that, a steamy bun? No, it's coffee. Nobody has cat pics in their house, come on. Oh my god, these people and their lights. It's driving me insane. Wait. Who are you? 
kidnapped. Wow, they threw the TV? Good job, Hannah. You tried your best. I feel naked without my phone. And every light on. Damn, goddamn. Lenore, where were you? What happened? Are you okay? Oh. Where's Grace? Where were you? At work, you know that. Where's Grace? You weren't at work. I called you at work. I called you on your mobile. I even called Rose. Nobody answered. Lenore, where is she? Where's Grace? Every painting turns to hell. She's gone, Robert! She's gone! And somebody turned off all of our lights! Wonderful city? Wherever she is, I'll find her. I promise. You did this, didn't you? What? How could you even say that? Your obsessions, Robert. With work, with your technology, with Rose. It's all led us here. With Rose? Lenore, I have don't. no... Don't. Just... Don't. <gasps> Hello? Sorry to call you here, Rob. You weren't answering your mobile. I can't talk right now. I'll speak to you later. Is everything okay? She's gone. Who's gone? Lenore? I have to go. Back to the crazy town. I understand now. That girl, Grace. That was the girl from the explosion. The girl with the bomb was Grace Ramsey. Yes, Mr. Black. The girl you failed to save. And you knew. You put me through all of this to find information that you could have just told me. Or was that not part of my fucking treatment? Mr. Black, I couldn't tell you. I needed you to remember. I needed you to understand who she was. I needed you to say her name. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Black. For Grace. She was taken, kidnapped, held to ransom from Ramsey's memory tech. Your memory tech. It's you, isn't it? You're Robert Ramsey. Yes. I'm Robert Ramsey. And Grace. My grace was abducted for a ransom demand I never received. Oh, no, I don't know what to say, Robert. I'm just so, so... Save your pity. Save your emotions. I do not need them. All I need to know is who Rose and Jasper were working for. Who was behind it, Mr. Black? I don't know. But isn't it obvious? If I had to make a guess... Then I... you would be making assumptions. We deal with facts here, Mr. Black. Hard evidence. Empirical data. I have my suspicions, yes, but we have come too far to throw it all away on guesswork. We must continue with your treatment. Treatment? There never was any treatment, though, was there? I'm not here through choice, am I? Although your memory is damaged, I see your intuition is not. 
No, Mr. Black, this is not a hospital, but a prison. And unless you proceed, you will find me to be a less than hospitable warden. I am your lock. I am your key. I can be your enemy or I can be your salvation, Lover. but I oh. will have my answers. Now, proceed. With pleasure. But we'll do it on the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you then.